Hello guys, uh, welcome to PCOrganize.com. Uh, here's another video uh, today uh, about uh, replacing um, uh, a fan on HP NVY X360. Uh, we've replaced a couple of these and uh, obviously uh, some people have been trying to to try and replace them themselves been having a little bit of a difficulties because the way is brought out and then put back in so we thought to make a quick video to actually uh, show you how to do it um, <coughs> bear in mind there's few ways you can do it so obviously you can take the the, the processor cooler and uh, the um, uh, VGA cooler as well to sort of um, um, and then replace the fan but you can do it without taking it off as well which we're going to do today and uh, hopefully uh, um, <coughs> that will um, assure you guys that it can be done without actually having to uh, remove everything Uh, here we got the laptop now uh, <clears throat> so obviously we have taken the screws out um, before we open so as you can see um, there's a plastic here and take the plastic here and take, take the screws where I just pointed and uh, take the plastic there maybe it's a screw there you take it off and then the three screws on the bottom so you take the cover off and then as you can see the the fan is uh, uh, there next to the processor <coughs> and that's the fan that we're going to replace today uh, <coughs> we got a new fan here today so we're gonna open it up and just see if uh, this is uh, the correct one See, this is the correct one obviously uh, um, not exactly the correct one because as you can see the the cable is a little bit short but um, uh, we're gonna try and work it out on how to to actually install it with the same cable uh, I don't know why HP uh, insist of um, using a <coughs> couple of models and then give them of, uh, a couple of uh, fans and give them the same model number and then when you order so you get whatever they have in stock so yeah. remove the screws on top first as I pointed out make sure that you have enough space now to try and uh, pull it out and also remove the screws that are holding the fan on the motherboard um, there are different screws so just change to a, a different uh, um, screwdriver removing the fan out now and try and pull it out 
Yeah, but just by bringing it out slowly, slowly, and then push it towards you, it should come out. As you can see, this fan look is broken on a few pieces and also making noise, so it's no point trying to clean it or put WD-40 or something to try and make it work, so we're just going to replace it. So we're going to take this uh, um, tape underneath the fan, so because this uh, helps so that it doesn't, uh, uh, the dust doesn't go onto the uh, uh, cooler which is uh, in front of the fan. So it helps with that, so we'll just put it, I'll just stick it on the uh, old one. Now we're going to try and slide this uh, slowly, slowly underneath there and and uh, uh, put it properly on its place so that it can uh, be installed. As you can see with my hand I'm trying to, to pull the, um, the actual um, um, processor hold a little bit up so that uh, it can um, can actually um, fit in. Um, as you can see now, look, I put it in, but as you can see, like you see, the the cable is a little bit short, uh, as I was mentioning earlier. So we're gonna try and maybe. Uh, uh, put it out now and see uh, which way we can maybe twist the cable so that it can fit in, in this fan because we can't wait for another one to come from HP. carefully push up uh, a little bit again so that we can uh, slide in the fan to its place. As you can see now it's on its place so we can just uh, try and plug the, the fan on, on the motherboard.
We'll install the screw on the motherboard first and then the screws on top of the fan. Um, make sure that a uh, screw doesn't go uh, over the wires there, otherwise it will damage the fan. So just before we close up the laptop, uh, we try and uh, test the fan if it's working so that we don't have uh, any problems. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's running okay, no noise whatsoever, so it's all good. So we just uh, shut down the computer and then uh, close it up. So before you put the screws on, try and clip it first, uh, this uh, uh, on all sides and then um, add the screws. As I'm adding the screws here and uh, completing this uh, repair, I'd like to thank you all for uh, listening and watching our videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Uh, we make uh, uh, lots of videos on how to. And um, uh, and hopefully we'll uh, continue to, to help with the computer repairs. Uh, Thank you and we'll see you on the next video. Oh, by the way, this uh, um, these three bottom screws they have uh, some uh, special screws. 
uh, there's some special screws like a diamond cut so you need uh, some some uh, special screwdriver to to actually uh, screw them in or unscrew them from the, uh, when you unscrew them from the beginning uh, just make sure that you have a, a tool set before you actually start 